Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is our unboxing review of Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon, Monsters of Avalon um, from Awaken Realms. Uh, we're going to check out these miniatures that we've got. We've, we've done an unboxing of Tainted Grail, started sleeving the cards for this, and we're trying to get ready for a gameplay, so I'll just kind of move this out of the way. Uh, as you guys know, um, we've been playing a lot of Joan of Arc, we've been playing A Song of Ice and Fire, and I think uh, Tainted Grail seemed like a cool game to get into for the channel, probably going into 2024 with this, so uh, looking forward to this. I also know that these minis may not be the most uh, uh, intrinsic part of the game, but as you know, uh, a lot of our channel is based on miniature painting, so would like to get in into these, uh, unbox these, take a look at the minis, and I always use these unboxing mini review videos almost as a way as a, as a miniature painter to first look at the mini. So I just kind of do that with you guys. Uh, before we do, as you guys know, uh, Pontus Fathom Hobbies channel is not monetized. But if you could go check out our bookstore, you can get the fine Cat 2 journals out of Lovecraft's Providence from Pontus Fathom Press. Uh, this is, channel is brought to you by the books that we make. So if you uh, go check out our bookstore, there'll be something for everyone. Uh, this is the Omnibus Collection. Uh, this would make a great Halloween Christmas present. Uh, add it to your collection of Lovecraft books. It actually features the two trilogies, um, August Moldenhauer's Catu Journals and Giuseppe Balsamo's Disclosure from the Necronomicon Fragment. Each of those have three volumes. So you can buy those volumes independently. And you can always go out to our Patreon as well and read Genealogy of Cthulhu for as little as a dollar and help to support us that way. Uh, we've also, uh, as we're not monetized, we're looking to grow the channel. So liking, subscribing, sharing helps us out a lot. So really appreciate that. Special thanks to our Patreons and to our subscribers. Uh, I always do the comments, read through the comments. So uh, if you guys are interested in Tainted Grail, if you've played it, if you painted the miniatures, throw a comment down there, throw a link down. I'd like to check it out. Um, let's jump into unboxing of this and review. I'm, I'm, I'm eager to look at these miniatures. From the back of the box, it says Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon expansion, includes 20 additional plastic miniatures, does not include the game rules. I'm going to do this one as a part of my first setup for the my first gameplay, so maybe I'll have these minis painted first, as, as well as the, the minis that come with the main box set. So if you guys can ring the bell, I'll, I'll notify you um, uh, with the... Um, but when we get this on the board. So I'll probably take the minis from Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon, which is about eight minis, plus these minis. So yeah, so back back to the box here. We also, we just have the Underbrush Worm, Slav, Hammerbeak, Wolfwalker, Worm tra Triangle, Weird Bear, Warped Elk, War Child, Four Dwelling Reclaimer, Dullahan, Mulchman, Mistbearer, Errant Knight, Errant, Selkie, Angry Mob, Warped One, Bow Maiden, Child of Morgane, Morrigan, Lost Knight, and the Hell Pig. Well, that's pretty clever. I do love this box art on the cover. I, 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 uh, I'll, maybe I'll leave the box. Oh yeah, this is good. This helps. Helps us to see. This is great. This is you know this is something I was just I just did a um, I just did a paint through of the Greyjoy. A Song of Ice and Fire Greyjoy starter set. And I was ha having trouble getting them back into the trays. So I had to go back through my video and freeze it on the on the freeze frame. That looks like this, right? This is very helpful. I think all game makers should do this. Note to the community. Uh, this is a great storage box. Look at this. This is fantastic. Um, I like how newer model games are... You know, I, I've, I've got a video out there for my... Eldritch Horror all-in-one custom DIY solution, but when you have boxes like this, uh, it makes it very easy to uh, it makes it very easy to store and review these. So, you know, I also want to take a look at the back of the box so we can kind of get the names of these. So, this one looks like it's the Warped Elk. Kind of go through this. It reminds me of a little bit of annihilation for some reason. Got another face here. It's kind of got a Lovecraftian. It's like a a tree elk. It's like Groot as an elk. Something like this is pretty cool. Um, 
I will probably do these as a batch paint through. This one is here, our Knight Errant. Also pretty cool. Does he have a spike run through him? What is that? Strange, right? Maybe I'll zoom in like this to give you a look. Okay, Knight Errant, lots of great details. Okay, I like the tattered cloak. Uh, this one here is the, this one I do like also, it's, oh, is it different than what's on the box here? Who's this guy? The Mist Bearer. This is the Mist Bearer. Wow, look at that. The goat head, those lanterns. The mist bearer, or they like are they like um, those steamer boxes that the devotees would would swing with mist coming out of them, something like that. Is that what they are? Fantastic looking, and it's sort of like he's floating among, above the tree as well. Uh, next up here we've got the. This is frightening. This is the. What is this one? Aren't they like, oh here it is, the Dullahan, Dullahan. This sort of headless guy, see his head is missing here. But then you have a, I believe there's a head, oh it's like a spinal cord, he's ripped his own spine out. And the head is here. Let me zoom that in even a little bit more. If you see here, there's a skull here. All right, can you see that skull? So there's a skull and a spine whip of his own head. Wow, that's something else. That is horrifying. All right, next up we've got the... Uh, next up we've got the weird child. The weird child. This is also very Annihilation-esque. Check this out. So it looks kind of like cordyceps. Or it's just bones. It's an armor of bones in the back with the drapery kind of blown back over this disc of bones. And again, there's a, 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 a child in the arms of it and it's a faceless, ghastly thing. Wow, smoky base. Fantastic. Uh, next up, we've got the Worm Tangle. Worm Tangle is kind of a Cerebus three-headed serpent hydra type of thing. Is it biting its own tail too? Yeah, it looks like it. We've got a little Ouroboros in there, Bar Baromian knot. Cool. Uh, next up, we've got the underbrush worm and you see this has got also this fanged fanged face there and a log that it's sort of coiled around nice nice details there the box is super helpful see i'm already using it if this has to go in that way super helpful okay this one we've got the Angry Mob. This must be the Angry Mob? No. This is the the Sloth. Sloth? Sloth. Uh, here you go. The Sloth. I'm going to put it back to two so you guys can make sure I get in frame. And I'll just do a zoom in when you need it. Sloth. And then we've got the Selkie. So it's sort of a mermaid in the mouth of a creature. Zoom in here, mermaid in the mouth. These are gonna be super fun to paint. I can't wait to get to these. Yeah, if you guys like and subscribe, you'll get the link to when we uh, do the paint through. Next up is a hell pig. No, this is a wolf. It looks like this is the wolf walker. Wolf walker. And our hell pig, I believe is here. This is our hell pig. No, this is not the hell pig either. This is the weird bear. So we've got the wolf and the weird bear. 
And this must be the hell pig. Hell pig. All right, nice. Uh, next up, we've got the hammer beak and some cool details here. But looks like it's been attacked as well. Sort of reminds me of the Beast Mode Evangelion Unit 2. Um, this is a warped one. That is frightening. And we also have this child of Morrigan as well. Another kind of deranged shaped creature. Uh, we've got this Bow Maiden and the Angry Mob here. Bow Maiden and the Angry Mob. Uh, we've got the Lost Knight and the Lost Knight and this tree f creature is called what? The Lost Knight and the Mulch Man. I believe this is the Mulch Man. The Lost Knight looks really cool. And the Mulch Man here. And then finally, the Four Dweller Reclaimed. Wow, this is frightening. Look at this. He's got this guy. He's got no legs, he's floating. This is a fantastically frightening, nightmarish figure. 